you're fighting this Saturday at uh, this PBC card against uh, Jesus uh, Cuellar. Uh, you're moving back up in weight. Tell me you how you're feeling you right good. now. You did good. Jesus who? <laughs> <laughs> how, how are you feeling uh, coming into this fight? Uh, I saw the kid fight, uh, the fight. He's an excited fighter. He's coming forward. He's making his opponents tired, get tired. Throwing a lot of combinations, a lot of punches. And his opponents who's not fit, they're giving up and they're beating them, all of them by technical knockout. It's not gonna happen on Saturday because I'm gonna be smarter than him and stronger than him physically. Mm -hmm. You will see how hard I can punch and I'm ready. My both hands now. Before everyone know me, I'm left, but now I have right too. I can knock him out even with right. I'm feeling confident, I'm feeling motivated for this fight and I wanna show all the world how I can be better. So you're moving back up to weight. Uh, why move back up to weight? Because I, I know talking with the, some people, they felt maybe that your size didn't translate very well in that new weight. I'm uh, my size is 118. I feel much great for in in 118. But I'm now I'm fighting 126. I want to win the title and go down ah. because I missed one of the weight divisions 122 title fight. I want to go and become world champion in 122. When I get fifth weight division uh, world championship belt. I can think about retirement, mm -hmm. but I want to I wanna win this title, I am motivated and I know I'm much smarter, smarter than this kid. Uh, with uh, the last few fights you've had, have you had any changes in camp and have you done anything differently? Oh, I, did, I didn't done changes in the camp, I did changes in my brain. Mm -hmm. Just if you're winning the fight easy and you're demolishing your opponent, why look for a, a knockout? Because your opponent knows he's losing, he will come to you and you will knock him out, you know? So that's what happened with Donet. I was winning eight rounds and I start jumping at him for looking for knockout and I get big clean punch, you know? And somehow referee stopped the fight. I don't know why he stopped because I was clear, I was waiting to jump at me and get him again. I guess I don't wanna look him back, but I'm looking forward. Mm -hmm. I wanna fight with his kid and I wanna go move down in 122, win again world title. Why not stay at uh, 122 uh, instead of moving right up to this uh, fight? Because he's. Uh, He's a good kid, you know, he, he has a lot of skills and uh, he looks like he, he's promising it in that area. He's a good kid. He has uh, amateur big, amateur, amateur fights too. If you check in amateur fights, he didn't want any good fighter mm -hmm. in amateur. He lost all of them good. He lost Cuban by knockout. He, in amateur, I, did, I beat everyone in amateur. I beat world champions, I beat five-time world champions, three-time world champions. And I think his kid have only, it's not about his, his love to book walking on an opponent, makes them tired and gets them by technical knockouts, wins them by technical knockouts and I don't think it's gonna work for him with me because I know I'm, I'm much smarter than him and I'm stronger physically than him. Mm. He can't work on me because that's what I love to do. I love working on my opponents. He's gonna, not gonna work for him and I'm no, not looking uh, past this, uh, this fight. I'm looking forward to this fight. I'm looking to slow him down and knock him out. Now looking at a um your career, you mentioned you want to win a fifth, uh, fifth title and, and then retire. Is that something on your mind, given your age and how long of a career you had? Uh, it's not in my mind. It's a mind of my uh, people who are following me. They think I'm 39. Why I'm still fighting? I'm fighting because I'm still, I still have hunger. I want to mm -hmm. do something what I missed. I want to become world champion in a different weight division. So that's what all about. If I can't make it, if I cannot do it, I will retire. Mm -hmm. I did already what I did in the past. I don't think so anyone already can do what I did. I won eight world titles and I'm looking forward to win more. Mm -hmm. Why not? If I'm still able to train, I want to train and I want to fight. Why not just try? I'm not looking, I, you know, I'm the best in the world. In a, I'm heavyweight or something. In my weight division, I'm looking, I'm thinking I can beat everyone. And what happened in the past, I have a couple of loses. Like everyone know, in the, like passing, I lost to Abner Mares, I lost in Japan. And uh, it's all it's all my mistake. I know it's my mistake, and I wanna correct that mistake. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of mistakes that have been happening is uh, you've been caught with the left hook, um, with um, Walters, uh, so with Abner Nonito. Mares, yeah. So is that something that uh, one of the improvements you wanna bring into this yeah, fight? Because you know what's that? I'm I'm fought many times, and I, I know it's that's what's gonna happen. They're looking for left hook, yeah. and I see they, mis they did that mistake, you know. I want to one time look forward for that mistake and people think I'm gonna, they're going to left hook me and I'm going to catch them with cleaner punch, you know? When I correct myself and I, and I feel I'm already done, I'm happy what i done, I will retire, you know? Mm -hmm. What would you say to the, the people that say, Vic, you've been knocked out uh, twice in the last three fights, 
What would you say to them that are really counting you out? Oh, with uh, with Wolters, it's again was patient. It was happened knockdown in the second round. It was not knockdown. He punched me in the shoulder. I slip and I was get upset badly because I know it's not knocked down. I start jumping at him and he, he catch, catch me with good punch. He catch me with knuckle after he finished me with uh, straight punch, I think, or a little bit uppercut, kind of uppercut. You know, it was clean punch, good. I'm happy. Yeah, I saw that and I know it's my mistake. You know, not because he just fall forward me, push me and knock me out. I did mistake. I jump at him. He catch me good punch. With uh, Tone, I was winning all eight rounds. In nine rounds, he catched me with nipple, nipple fight, and this was very awkward and very good punch. He did good. He knocked me down. Uh, I did recover. I did recover after the fight. I was looking to corner for he catching for big uppercut. You know, I don't know how somehow referee stopped the fight. It's okay. Uh, I know it's my mistake, but if that fight I'm looking for survives in the round, I still gonna win the fight. You know, I was looking for catching for big uppercut. And uh, I do, I'm not looking, thinking for, for that fight. He knocked me out, Tone. Mm -hmm. He just get lucky, he catch me with hook. Everyone knows he's losing. And I don't wanna beat him by points. I wanna knock him out. Mm -hmm. My points, always I'm looking for knockout. Or I'm winning by knockout or I'm losing by knockout. It's a good, <laughs> it's a boxing, it's excitement. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking about. So this fight, uh, it's safe to say then you're gonna look for the knockout? Oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure I'm gonna look for knockout. <laughs> All right, Vic, thank you very much. Appreciate it, can't wait to see you on Saturday. Thank you. <laughs>